Oh, just let me know when you're ready. Ready. Hi everyone, Dr. Tevlin here and Dr. Dan. Hi everyone. We get lots of questions about inversion tables and if they are good or not for your back. Yes, yes they are, I love them. Uh, this one is actually mine from my house, so I brought it here to the office. Um, more so so patients can use it here too. Uh, they can try it out before they buy their own. Uh, you can use it up to, once you get used to it, up to twice a day for five minutes at a time, okay? We don't start at five minutes because your body has to get used to it. So we start at 30 second increments, up to a minute, and then eventually two minutes, working your way up to five minutes total, okay? I suggest that patients always have somebody home when they're doing this. I have had quite a few patients get stuck, um, more so with our elderly patients. Um, and they couldn't get back up, okay? It does have handles and there is um, like a lock as far as like how far back you can go, but I do suggest having somebody home just in case, okay? So Dr. Dan's going to get in here in just a minute, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit how to set it up. Right here you have measurements on like how tall you are because obviously a tall person person is going to care, you know, more of their center of gravity is going to be up here and we have to make it balanced once we go upside down. So we already tested it out with Dan uh, before the video to, to see where his center of gravity was. Okay. And then on this side, Sophia, if you can get closer, this is actually set up right now for 30 degrees um, incline. Okay. So once it go, he goes back, that's about as far as I would suggest going. We do start out at like about 15, 45 degrees, or excuse me, and that ends up being about like right here. And honestly, when you're upside down, it feels like you're, it's so much pressure, okay? It feels like you're really far upside down, okay? So you, you wanna graduate into 30 degree incline here, okay? All right, Dr. Dan, hop on up. So what this is doing is it's decompressing the spine, okay? So our discs are 80% water. They're like little sponges. And so when we get older, our discs start to degenerate. And what this is doing when we go upside down is we're using gravity and your body weight to pull the vertebrae apart, the bones, and that's gonna allow those discs to um, fill up with more nutrients. It also takes pressure off a disc if somebody has a, a disc bulge or herniation. So he locked himself in, so his ankles are, are in there. Nice and snug, because this is where you get all the, the pull. So if that's not tight, you're just gonna slide down a little bit and not get the effect you want. Yep, and then up he goes. Okay, and then you can even, I tell patients you can even just rest your arms up. Good, and so he'd be up upside down for up to five minutes once he gets used to that, okay? All right, but yeah, love the inversion tables. Uh, this one is actually about 200 bucks. You can find them on Amazon, super cheap. So hope that helps and we'll talk to you soon.